morning, afternoon, evening. I'm Stella. I'm Tarrant. And we are going to live stream, live playthrough Wayfarers of the South Tigris. Which is sitting behind us here. Yes, it is yellow. And green. It is the first of the yellow sequence. <laughs> oh, oh. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Well, welcome back. Whether you watch it live or not. If you watch it live, you can chat with Shem Phillips, the designer, also from Garfield Games, in the chat. So, thank you for joining us, Shem, and everybody. Hopefully, you've been well. Now, I'm going to look at the chat. Tarrant, everyone's here. Ty, Brandon, Chip Chip Game, John, Michael, Throw, Rob, which else? Um, bu -bu 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 who uh, I've mentioned Brandon and Bryce Slim Kisla. Pauline, Pauline C. Hello from Canada. And then Dimitris, happy Easter from uh, Facebook. This is a uh, multi multi stream Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. Just a stone's away from Stella and Taryn. Yeah, well, that's a very strong, strong, uh, very strong stone stroll from Australia to New yeah. Zealand. Just skimming across the ditch. Yeah. And then I actually am. Um, I was excited about today. That's why I actually had a dream about Shem. Mm -hmm. Like, he was like, Shem, you were there, and um, I don't know, talk about your games, something like that. It's just blurry, but to do with board games. So, nothing bad. Shem, uh, two ones here. Gia uh, Komolo Malalachi. Wafa Wafa, a cat from Melbourne. And Tony Sai can uh, talk in touch. Taco at Snow, no, Snow in Summer. Ooh, sounds cool. Chip Chip game from Twitch. Lonely on <laughs> Twitch. Um, is this stream at New Place? Yes, yes, so we, we posted on, no, I mean, no, <laughs> it's not. But yes, I posted things that we are moving home soon. This is the last ever stream from our old place. So from ne next week onwards, it'll be from the New Place. Yep, say goodbye to the brick wall. Yeah, goodbye brick wall. Brick wall. Because I got different uh, background. <coughs> uh, David, uh, I'm pretty good at skinning. Lol. Luke, uh, Andrew, Tommaso, and Sunny. Hello from Canada, Toronto. Um, I've got Kristen Mavin from Australia, Justin Davidson, and Freya. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. And we are in for a ride, a ride in the South Tigris, where we are cartographers, wayfarers, cartographers and everyone trying to explore the area and report the findings to Sultan through journaling. So as usual, we are going to, I would say, Taran is going to explain the overview of the game. And then we are going to play the full game. And in between, we're going to tell you how to enter the giveaway for this game. It's actually a pledge. The Kickstarter is got coming in two days, I believe. Shem, please feel free to link the, kick, the link to Kickstarter in the chat. So I've added you as moderator, so you should be able to add link. So please feel free to add the link to your Kickstarter so people can hit the follow up button. But anyway, we have a pledge giveaway, which is the base game of Wayfarers. Which is which has the whatever Kickstarter stretch goal is and the metal coins. Thanks to Shem. Woo. Yes. We're gonna tell you shortly. Anything else, Taryn, that you wanna share before we get to the table? Yeah, normally we'd play this with the uh, metal coins, but we packed them like a month ago. So. Yes, and the metal coins actually looks different than the West Kingdom ones. Oh, does it? Okay. Yeah. Look, looks slightly different. Look, the uh, the design. It's not the sorry. Okay. <laughs> it looks like a different. Shem can confirm that as well. Okay. Shem must be so busy because people will be like asking Shem everything. And yes, with that, please feel free to ask Shem in the chat. Thank you, Shem. All right, shall we get to the table? Yes. Thank you. All right. What you can see before you is a lot of cards. So this is a tableau building game. Which is a standalone. Which is a standalone game. Yes. yes. So it's a tableau building game. We will be uh, seeking to. We got two tableau. Uh, there will be a card tableau. So we'll be uh, buying cards from all around this board. There's five different types of cards. Uh, we'll be trying to explore the land and the sea, and we'll have a um, we'll have a different angle when we get to each of our tableau. Correct. Uh, so we'll have land and we'll have sea, and those will give us different abilities and bonuses. Uh, we'll have townsfolk who will enhance those abilities, 
and then we'll have space cards above them and inspiration cards and those will be uh, all about in-game scoring objectives. Not that there's no scoring for uh, land and water cards, those also have icons that are going to score through sets of uh, like and non-like. So big element of tableau building there. Uh, there's also a mini tableau here on our player boards, this is called our caravan, uh, because a lot of the actions we're going to be taking require us to have these icons, and so we need to build them up on our boards. Because on a turn we either place a die onto one of these spaces and do the action, or we place a worker onto one of the cards and do the action next to that card. Um, but with these dice placement actions, we sorry, I keep switching camera. We may need ships or camels or pigeons to do these actions, and to do that we need to have them available, perhaps up here on the caravan. So we'll be building up tiles to try to make that numbered die uh, worth more icons. So lots of different things we can be building up. We've got a big track here in the middle, and this is the advancement of the game. So we'll be doing journaling actions, uh, which will advance us through, gain us little benefits as we go along. Uh, and they have all these prerequisites. It might be a bit fine to see here, but they have prerequisite uh, sets of icons that you need to have to advance through them. Um, for example, you'd need two townsfolk to go from here to here. So, all of this will progress. We'll be moving along here until the end of the game, which occurs when someone reaches uh, this final row. We've got influence over here with three guilds. They give us some extra bonus abilities if we spend the influence, or can give us some uh, bonus objectives. No, not objectives. Give us some bonus points for majorities at the end of the game. Where's the water? Now I'm thirsty. Oh, sorry, I forgot the. This is my only job. Mm. Sorry, I gotta get the water. Sorry. <laughs> so yes, that is the bulk of the game um, in typical. Um, Kingdom series fashion, we've got actions that are going to cost silver and we've got actions that are going to cost provisions. Um, I think uh, Viscounts didn't need provisions but they're back and uh, a lot of the rest of a lot of the rest of what's going on we'll explain as we go along. Um, you'll find you'll find it all it'll all click into place within half a game I'm sure. Um, that's about it, I think. There's a big ma dice manipulation element to the game as well, which we will, uh, which we will show as we go along. Yeah. So this is a, a smart part of the game, or it's even smart part of the game. One of the smart parts of the game where you, um, yeah, manipulate the dice and place it and gain the icon. Yes. There we go. <laughs> that was a really, really quick run through, but. It will, uh, it will all, I'm sure, it will all fall the into place. The path of movement is also the root of Stella and Heron's new house. Woo! I see two planets, I wonder who will go for them. <laughs> yes, Shem. <laughs> uh, yes, Heron usually get the planets first before me for some reason. I also lose, so... I, <laughs> I don't know about that. All right. Hello, everybody who's just joined us before the last time I greet everybody. Welcome, welcome. Uh, sorry, I missed some... Some of you, but I um, I guarantee that I appreciate all of you being here and asking questions and commenting on stuff. Every every single stuff. For example, my architects works of wonder during the week late last <coughs> night. Amazing. Woo! Sean is here. All right. What this else? This is the solo side of the board. I just yeah. saw a question about solo. Okay. Yes. Of course, there's solo. She always has solo. There's also solo playthrough on Garfield Games YouTube channel, I believe. I think Shem has also done two-player playthrough as well, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, Kevin, everyone's here. All right, Tara. Shem, I'm so excited about this game. <laughs> Are you ready? Give the password? Yes. There you go, Tara. The password is Shem. Explain it. <laughs> Everybody, please do enter. The password is Shem. Shem, all in capital. If you know how to enter, if not, go to mipuluniversity dot no mipuluniversity dot com slash giveaway. Enter the password all in capital. It will reveal a simple form. 
fill it up and we'll we'll draw this at the end of this very live playthrough so don't miss out please enter early and enter and we'll let you know as well throughout what the password is yes the solo play almost exactly almost exactly the same for you but you have to manage the ai it's very easy to manage no oh, dorian all right shall we play who's the first player mm. oh we haven't decided we haven't decided that's what these are here for <gasps> One, two, three. I'm the first player. Okay, so that means I get an influence there. You get your influence back, but you get to go first. <coughs> I haven't thought of this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, while well, Taryn answering the question. Thank you. While well, Taryn answering the question, I will plan a couple of step ahead. How's that? Sounds good? Sounds good. Who will go for the... Pl oh, that's not a question. That's a pondering. A <laughs> pondering question. All right. No, not all right yet. And there is a, there is a lot of information out there to, uh, to gather at the start of the game because you've got 16 different worker placement actions mm -hmm. you could take, 20 different cards you could go and... Well, you couldn't buy a space card yet, but plenty of different cards out there to purchase. But the starting actions, the things we can do, uh, if you've got a camel... Oh, sorry, we have to roll our dice as well. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, I haven't done that. I'm sure Shem would be like, in port, roll your dice. Okay, this game is so good. All right. So... With the dice, I've got a, uh, a 1, a 1, and a 4. So my 1s will give me camels, so I could take a camel action with my 1. Uh, the 4 doesn't have any effects. There's some icons here, but those are bonuses when I cover them with tiles. So my 4 can only go on these uh, empty spaces unless I do something else about it. Stella's got a 2, a 3, and a 4, so no icons on any of them. Mm -hmm. All right. My go? Yes. I'd like to... Well, oh, that's a tough one. That is a really tough one to do, Taren. But I'll do it. I will... I want to go to this, this space. Oops. And I want to get a... something. Uh, a card. So it'll be... Where's this one? So you need a camel. You, yeah, uh, I don't have a camel. You don't have a camel, and because you don't have a uh, yellow influence, you don't mm -hmm. have dice manipulation at the moment. That's correct. All right. My plan has failed. <laughs> so I will first go to this place. Yes. And give me like... All right, so this is where I go. So I'm going to get something that's going to make my life a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and then place this one here. And then back to the main, I'm going to get one of these here. So this is the symbol in there, but I have to pay two coins, which I have. Pay two coins and I will get the camel. And then get the camel, pay two coins, and then back to here. So when I put it here, I cover this, so I get the bonus. Thank you. Perfection. Alright, provision. And then that's my turn, and you. Alright, um, I have seen a water card that I want, so I'm going to go straight in and put this for here. I have to spend a ship, and one of the ways I can spend a ship is to spend an influence on uh, blue. So I'm going to take this back to uh, gain this card here. Sorry, and spend two provisions. And this is a card that uh, will give me four provisions if I can activate it. So I'll put that there. I get to uh, from an immediate. So this would require two ships to get four. Sorry, come back down. We've got to do a bit of switching here. This will require two ships for me to get four provisions, but it's a way for me to get them quickly. I gain a provision from this bonus. I place an influence on yellow from this bonus, and uh, that's it. All right, back to me. Yes. 
I want to place a die in here. So now I've got two has got a camel icon, so I can place this. It's re meet, meeting the requirements of the camel symbol. So, oh, it's got change, and then pay two provisions to get one of one of these and a coin. So give me the coin, please. One coin. And I will actually take this one, my friend. Okay. Yeah, I will take that one. All right, back to you. It's pretty quick, like if you, but then you have to map up at least the first few. What happened here? Uh, I forgot to refill that. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm back to the looking at the chat quickly. Nicholas can't stay long, but hopefully we'll catch it. The end. It's okay. I'm gonna make sure that everyone's uh, or that we have been receiving entry, which we have. We get 49 entries so far. Oh, one of three travel makers here. Hello. Hello, Wyatt. Who are you? Hendrix is here as well. Marek, Christian. Uh, Tad. All right. I'm going to put a uh, blue worker up here. The Canadian fan of Garfield Games. The action here is to take a blue tile. It costs me either three silver or two blue influence, which I don't have. So I'll spend three silver. I'm going to grab this one here. I shall pop it down here, which gives me a provision. And it gives me uh, gives me another way of getting a ship. That's you. I'll just show where I pop that in here. Mm -hmm. That is well, awesome. There we go. My go. You're right. I think I will actually going to retrieve my dice. So uh, I have one left over. So in here it's small, it says, but if I have zero or one dice left over, oh, hello. What does it say, Terry? New subscriber. Oh, thank you. Welcome oh, to, the, right. to the family. So it says zero or one. So I have one left. Um, so I retrieve dice. And roll them. And roll them. And I can optionally roll this. I, I want to roll all this. And then I use uh, do the action, which I get one coin. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I do inking action, which is moving here. So what is inkwell? Inkwell action. So I this is my pawn. I'm going that way. There's no requirement here. And this bonus is to get one of the town folks for free. No, one of the uh, green tiles for free. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, sorry. One of the green tiles for free, which is. No, I've got, yeah, I've got this one. What's the thingy one again? Okay, I will, oh my gosh, this is like decision. Decision space. I will probably put it here. Maybe, maybe not. No, I'll put it here. <coughs> it's kind of like blocking me for some things anyway, but I do get the bonus. Uh, silver. Thank you. All right. Uh, that is my action. All I'm right. already doing already doing rest action. All right, I am going to place this one here. So one has a camel, so I can do that. It will cost me two provisions. I gain a silver, and I gain a yellow card, and I'm going to take this vista. Yeah. Uh, this vista is going to give me an another, another immediate coin, and then I can take a coin every time I uh, play a harbour. Oh, that's good. Slide this over. Slide that over. Oh, uh, I forgot to take this in the middle. Oh yes, you get the uh, green worker. Green workers are the most powerful of the workers, so uh, we didn't talk about the colour restrictions on these workers. You can put a green worker anywhere. You can put blue workers on the water or the inspiration cards, yellow on land or inspiration. Um, and there can be one worker of each color on each space. Yeah. All right, my go. Your go. E, I want to get that one, I think. Maybe not. Hmm. Um, in the size here again, Tara. What is that? Is that one yellow card? 
One yellow tile or two townsperson cards, townsfolk oh, cards. That's tough, that's tough. Um, so I'm looking to maybe use my green worker to go up there to get something. Yes, Sarah? Yep, so actions there include uh, journaling again, uh, doing a getting a green tile for free again, mm -hmm. getting an influence on each guild. Yeah. Or buying a space card. Yeah, I might actually do something else. <laughs> Change my mind again. Thank you very much. After explaining the rules. Sorry, me. Taran. Where's my camel? Camel's number two and number one. So. Uh, what is a good one, Officer Taran? What is a good one, Officer Taran? Hmm. Um, I think I will get one of these cards. This is the... Observatories and Libraries. And whenever I gain... Whenever you gain one, it would let you uh, retrieve a worker. And this one here is whenever I gain... A Vista. Vista, and then I get to put Influence on with Influence. Mm -hmm. That sounds pretty good. So I'm gonna actually go number one. So back to my top. Put number one. So I have number one and um, the camel icon there. So automatically I'll get that. So I will. Oh, I don't have. No, I don't have the required resource. So sad. I just realized what I've done. So you you think I had something and then you're like, oh no. That's okay. That's okay. So I'll put it here instead. So that is a gaining, um, gaining time sock. Just yeah. one of these, and I have to pay the cost, which is on the top left. And I'm gonna get this one, this one, this one, this one. I can only get this one. So let's get this one. Yeah. Uh, and the cost is two. Two silver. I'm gonna put a pile over there. Yep. And then back to me, and I will put this one. So the legal placement is this one or this one? Yes, so I have to go underneath a um, existing card. And I can only put one. <coughs> so I'm going to put it like slightly makes sense for this one. And the logo must match this one and that one. All right, yep. that is my turn. Open. Just me. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what am I going to do here? I have to think about one minute. Hello, everybody. So we just like, this is like quite thinky game. So I'm trying to focus a little bit more and hopefully I'll get back to you once I've got the chance. So Hal is here, Stephen, Stephen Clark. Happy Easter. Excited for this game. I'm so excited of this game. This is like, this is such a great game. I love to tableau building like this. Well, Heron, doing something? Yes. All right. I'm going to place my one here. Mm -hmm. Spend two silver to recruit the merchant. And the merchant is going to beef up this vista. So good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I go again. Correct. Uh, interesting, interesting. So that means I get this if I... Uh, one important thing just to point out is that uh, this <laughs> this starting card here counts as a townsfolk card. So we both now have the two that we would need to cross that space. Okay. Please remind me. So this is two coins and... You get to place influence <laughs> on a card, which means I would have to pay you something that's, to interact with that card. That's right. That's right. Ooh, there's a lot of good juicy things to grab here. Uh, but I will go here, I guess. To journal and take a Coin. provision. No? Oh yeah, provision, sorry. Yeah, that's good. Journal take provision, which is in here. And so I will move this here. So. This I have, this is like two townsfolk, and the printed one is just 
actually counts. So the that I meet this requirement and I will go here. This is the only way I can go. So the bonus here is to take a die of my oh, of um thing that's set thing, one of the two dice and roll it straight away into my collection. Yeah. And take, take an inspiration card. Yes. I uh, which I can because I can slot it the only place is possible and this is so each inspiration Sorry. card goes above a space card yeah. and if you meet the objective on the inspiration card it doubles the points on the space card Correct. so our starting space card is uh, one point for each pair of a townsfolk and a tile and uh, the uh, starting inspirations that are out there if you end the game with six provisions or four open water or six comets or three planets. You can double those points. Mm. So good. <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, Tan. That's like a lot of comets. That's a lot of planets. I and mean, there's only three planets. There's probably I think Taran's going to go for it. I feel like it's probably too early for me to think about this, what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna just grab this. Okay. Okay, so that is uh, open water open water ones, which is one of this, usually. Okay. okay. Slide and replace. Thank you. Whew. For book tag. Okay, I am now uh, out of dice, so mm -hmm. I'm going to rest. What's your action there? So, roll these back, one, one, three. I journal and get a silver. Uh, I'll go the same way and grab myself a boat. Put that, um, which way am I going to put it? I'll put it up the top here. So now my twos are going to be, let me come back in. So my twos now have two boats and I can turn any one into a two. So now if I want a quick influx of provisions, um, I've got the means to do that with either a one or a two. Very good. So you, that's... A big part of how this um, tableau, this um, tile tableau mechanic works. All right. My go. Your go. I think. I think I want to do that. All right. I want to place this number four. Two. I've got a fidget icon, so I can do that, number four here, and do Inkwell um, again. So I'm going to move it. I have two CDs, um, which is this one. I have two CDs on my tableau, so I meet the requirements of two CDs, and I go here. And the bonus is adding two of my influences in the blue guild. That's it. Uh, oh, hang on, one more. No, that's it. You are journaling quickly. That's actually the... Uh, trigger of the end game but it gets harder for sure yes uh and you also get the green worker joy joy hey all because your list is around the same complexity as paladin so it's up to date with the ad <laughs> Lol. oh look at the cute and big mochi thanks joy so you are you got a green right. you got a green worker as well hmm? you got a green worker as well oh thank you now it is hard to just oh, yeah, yeah. it is hard to just completely rush because you do need to be uh, meeting objectives as you move up. The board. Correct. All right, I am going to turn my one into a two. That two has two boats. Pop that down there and grab four provisions. Okay. Is that it? Four provisions. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. There's so many options I want to do, but I don't know what. La 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 la. <laughs> okay. Uh, where's the main board? Please. I want to do that. I want to do that. I also want to do that and that. I want to do a lot of things. I just need to sequence it which one I want to, I want to do first, I guess. Right, Tarrant? That is how most games work. <laughs> Sleek. Uh, man. 
what is it that I really, really, really want to do, hey? I want to do everything and everything, but I can't get there. All right. Uh, if I go there and then that, if I go there and that, oh my God, I'm gonna Sorry, everybody. Did you explain the end game scoring as well with the tags? Not in detail, no. <coughs> But you will get sets for matching and non-matching uh, vistas, open water, cities, and uh, harbors. All right. I am going to... I need a camel icon to activate stuff, and I can't really... I can't really do anything. Mm. We're gonna do Terran. I need camel icon to activate something. To activate those. Yeah, but I don't have the camel thing on the top. Yeah, that's what you need. So sad. What you need is so what you're what you're lacking is the flexibility that having a yellow guild influence would offer. Yeah, and I'm in trouble a little bit, so uh, Okay. All right, this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> I promise. I will put this number five dice to here. To, sorry, to here. Now it has the bot icon, which I'm going to pay the provision first so I remember. And I will remove one of these that actually equals the bot icon. So that I omit the bot icon. And I'll get one of these, and I'll get this one. Open water. And let's put back on me. So what I get here, the is connected. I've got one coin. I got a coin here. Mm -hmm. Just one connected, and then the immediate action is to put two influence in the yellow guild. And that's it. And slide this over. Okay. All right, I am going to turn this one into a two, place it on here with a boat, spend two provisions uh, to gain a blue card, which is going to be this one. Now this has a worker on it, so I take that worker as well. Put it here. It has no connectors here. Its action is two boats to get a, a free townsfolk card. So I can really build up my townsfolk. Um, and it is a harbor, so I get these bonuses here. So I get a silver and a provision. Well done. I know what to do now. I want to rest again. So I've got one left behind. I'm going to take this. And I will lift this one as four. Well, shoot. <laughs> Uh, this is a really a bad roll. Uh, and then Oops, I will sorry. get the benefit. So I get a coin and the inkwell again. So I'm moving forward again. So out of these two, I only have this one. I have two of the green upgrade, which is this one. So I advance here and I take one of these. And I want to get this one. Yep, so these ones give you uh, icons that combo for points or give you raw points. There's no. Unless you've got a vista that combos with it, there's no real engine building benefit to this. So I'll take this one and I'll just put it. Um, oh, this is taking. This is no use for me at the moment because I've taken all my dies. Mm -hmm. So I'll just leave it probably here. Okay. Okay. Um, do I miss anything? No, that's it. I don't think so. Cool. All right, uh, what was my plan? Oh yes, I'm <laughs> going to take my yellow worker and go here. That lets me spend my two yellow influence to gain a yellow die, a uh, yellow upgrade card. So the options I've got, there's one that will give me a silver discount and I don't have a great silver engine. There's one that will give me a pigeon, and I feel like I might need that pigeon because I'm Maybe falling like. behind on the uh, journaling track. 
And there's one that will give me a camel. I do have a way of getting a camel, but I have to roll a one. So I think I might uh, take the... Thanks, Shem, for sharing the Kickstarter link. And help us with the chat. Oh, she's solo gamer. Oh, hello, friend. Shogunstein, Tommaso, Ficon. This is the best. Five counts is the best. I really like this one. I don't know if this is actually now my, my favorite. Well, Ficon is really good as well. It's so hard. Shem, stop making so many good games. Now it's hard for me to pick one. No, it's actually no. It's good. Pick everything. Pick everything. All right. Sorry. I forgot to go down to here. So I'm just pondering where I'm going to put this. The pigeon is tricky because uh, the die doesn't advance to it. I could flip it over and make it a minus. So if I put it here, I've got more ways to get my boats, which I do kind of need. Um, but I haven't leveled up my way of getting a telescope. I think I'll do this. It gives me a silver and a provision. No sense leaving those on the board. Um, there we go. My go. There we go. I think I know what I want now. I will go to get one of my fours to go here and then gain townsfolk. Guess which one I'm going to get? This one. So this cost me one and I get the green worker for free because it's on it. I paid it and I put it on here. So now my rest action was, I mean, gets me more stuff. Okay. Yes. Actually, I'll put it here. Yep. Okay. Um, I, I have a few things I can do, but now that I have this minus, I can turn this three into a two, put it here and get a free Townsfolk card. So that is a pretty good. I'll get this fisherman. Indeed. So my choice is, am I going to make this a five provision card or make this a one provision cost card? It's all about where I plan to spend those provisions. Correct. Yeah, let's... feel like I... I think, I think mm. I'm going to use that one more often, so... Because mm. I've got a few ways of getting provisions, so I'll go there. Okay, that gives me, that's the townsfolk. Yep. I replenish, I'm done. My go. I want to use one of my green meeples here. That gets, gets me one influence and one of each kills, I believe. This one? Yes. Thank you. One, one, one. Well, I'm actually just the... It's pretty lonely here on the guild tower. <laughs> <laughs> that is my turn. Okay. Alright, what am I going to do here? Yeah. Do I want to... Do I want to launch quickly at it? Um, so what I'm trying to think through here is there's, there's one more way for me to get a blue card right now, which is, uh, three provisions here. Now that I've got a pretty good provision engine, that might be a good thing because what I want to do is have an open water place, um, to get one of these just to because I can get them for free now. So I think I will spend, I'll put my blue worker here. I'll spend the three provisions. And how this works, I can draw, well, I must draw the top three and then pick the one I want. So, ooh, that's, uh, that pans out relatively. No, on top, your top. No, there you go. Yep. yep. So I've got this one, which gives me some good bonuses and dice manipulations. But this is probably the one I want right now. Thanks to Shogunstein. I could get another harbor, but I do need an open water to get a few points as well. So I will put that there. These go on the bottom of the deck. Uh, this gives me an immediate provision. 
This gives me two immediate silver and I get to uh, retrieve a die and re-roll it. It's five, that's not what I was after. Sorry, Tarrant. Um, and that's it. Hmm. Okay. Oh. You already, that's it. It. What is... where... I'm just looking for symbol. I think... Oh yeah, this is, this is really tough. This is really tough to get the symbol, isn't it? It's only on the board. It's only on the board. There might be one mm. other place you can find it. An, an auto effect from a card, perhaps. Okay, and that one is the planet one? Where? The planet one. The this black? One. Yep. Yes. And that one is the yellow, which is actually not apparent. Where is it, the yellow? The yellow tiles? Tile upgrade, yeah. There, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the blue one is over here. Interesting. All right. I will get one of those. This is not efficient, but I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to take one of these four. No, I can't. Oh, no. Yes, I will. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do this action then. So this is one of the meat, one of the blue or green. So I'm going to put the blue because green is the most powerful one. I'll do that. I'll take one of these. It'll cost you two blue influence or three silver. Um, I've got a few blue influence, but I want to just leave it there. So I'm going to just pay three silvers. Thank you. To take. One of these two. Oh, this one maybe. This is the. Oh, this is the change of dice. Yes. That is the logo that I probably would be handy to have. Huh. Okay, I'll take this one. So I'll take this one here. Put it here. Yes? Yep. And I'm covering uh, Retriever Die. And roll it. Sorry, yes. Three. Okay. Okay. Oh. All right. I was really yes. hoping for a one, two, or a three on this. With the Sorry, five, okay. I can still do what I was planning to do, or I could do something different. Um. Sorry, I should have really thought this ahead. So I could go and get a townsfolk. I could go and get a green upgrade tile, give myself a couple more icons to play with. And if I place it, I could get a reroll and then maybe get what I'm chasing. Or I could just uh, refresh now. Let me... I need a couple more ways of getting telescopes and camels. Yeah. So what I might do is go here, spend two silver. I oh, know I'm at a bubble. <laughs> to get a telescope. Very good. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, Tarrant. Pop it here on the four. Uh, retrieve another die. Complexity weather. For, uh, weather for, uh, oh. Complexity level from scale one to five. What do you think? Probably four. Probably, three, I wouldn't say it's three and a half. I'd say it's three. Three and a half. It's on the lower end. Okay. As long, actually, yeah. As long as you know the icons, which if you play other Garfield games, games yeah. then it doesn't require you know. it doesn't require the the um, deep planning ahead that Paladins has. But it's. I thought this has got some deep planning ahead. Oh yeah, played it wrong. Your whole turn isn't ruined if it, if it, um, your whole game isn't ruined if a couple of things go wrong. Jamie asks, what happens if you ran out of cardinal directions? Center. Up, and, up and down. 
center, center kingdom. Is it central? Is it not central? Yeah, that can be central. Yeah, central kingdom or central earth of the earth. <gasps> is it a sci-fi mm -hmm. one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, I take a holiday, lol. No, not the right answer. <laughs> yes, you deserve a holiday. Is it my go already? It is. Aww. I mean already. I spent a lot of excessive time thinking about that last time. <laughs> Sorry, Tarrant. I need a lot of money and a lot of resources, unfortunately. I think I will get number three. I'll use number three. Lo 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 lo. Number three to put it here and get have a plan. You know, I forgot what the plan was. Get money. Okay, that's it. Really feeble. I feel like that's a waste of, anyways. Or is there any or can I? No, never mind. Never mind, that's it. Yes, there aren't. Alright, now do I want to go into space now? Oh wait, wait a minute. Can I just change it to getting provisions? Sure. Thank you. Alright, while I've got a six, I've got a telescope. So I'm going to spend it here to buy a space card. I'm going to buy the cheapest space card, which will cost three silver off Ooh. the end here. So I've got a comet. It's a three point comet with a single comet tag on it. So if I end up with more comets than Stellar, I'll get four points for this card. Mm -hmm. And it gives me an immediate journal effect. So I'm going to head into here. Um, because I have one yellow card, I get my next die which is a three and I get to take an inspiration card so six provisions these ones tend interesting thing is these aren't necessarily game breaking um, I could try to get six comets I could try to have six provisions at the end of the game or I could just get one of those rewards underneath if I don't like it. I think I'll try to get, I've got a good provision engine. So I'm going to get this. I'm going to slot it here because I've got a good way of getting more than four points out of this car. So that's my uh, better option there. All right. Hello, Carl and Tony Games. All right, that's your turn. Yep, you're okay. My brain, my brain, my brain, my brain, my brain. I will put number four. So number four has got a pigeon. And this requires me to put a boat. So I'm going to still take it from the main for the boat. And then back to me. I put four here and then spend two provisions. I get one of these. Now because I've got a pigeon, I can take from here like Karen did before on the land card. Yep, so you take three and you must take one of those. This is good. This is like a lot of bonuses. Look, there's like inkwell, there's three provisions, or putting it on the black guild and one coin, one provision, and put it in as a thing. So I'm gonna probably I'm gonna put a hit on here. Oh, that's no bonus. So sad. It's okay. They're all bonuses on the other side, so I that's know, pretty I good. Know, I know, I know, I know. All right. And then put this underneath. Yep. This is a, a good one for me, I think. All right, so I will put one in the black gill. I will take one coin. I will take one proficient, and I'll take influence in one of these, I believe. On a card. One of the cards, any cards? Yes. Okay. What? <laughs> you look at me so mean. Yeah, you knew that was the one I wanted. Um, How do I know? Is that the one? That's all right. I do. I do really want that. So I'm still going mm -hmm. to take it. Right. It's obvious that that's the one I wanted. How? Because <laughs> I have no money engine. So I'm going to turn this three down into a two. Oh, you don't have coins, pay. I don't need coins. To pay. Oh. 
I'm going to place this here, take that for free, but I have to give you a provision or a silver before I do it. Yes. So there you go. You want a provision out of that. Slot this under here. So now I will get three silver every time I rest mm. instead of one. So that's uh, more, 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 more. It's good. I also forgot to open the space card after I purchased. So we've got the uh, the moon there, which is an interesting moon. one. The moon is worth three points, but if you also have the sun, which may never come out, I'm forgetting to slide a lot of these. Mm -hmm. um, if you also have the sun, then each card is worth seven. Very good. All right. That is you? That is me. My go. I want to place one of these. And then I forgot what I was going to do. I want to place. Uh, I should get. I should get the land card, probably. I've got two provision thanks to Taran. Alright. So. But I don't have the camel, that's the problem. Mm. Number, so I've got number six and number four. Number four is pigeon. So I could, I could move forward. I'll move forward then. All right, let's do this. So uh, take this one. And I do the inkwell action again. I have one in the guild. You have to spend it. So I'll spend it, that's okay. Move there, and I get a proficient and a coin, and that is it. I think. Okay. All right, I am out of things, so I rest. So I shall retrieve all of these, roll them. One, two, four, six. Not a bad roll, actually. Um, Rachel. I get three Hold silver. On. Sorry, I missed some of you. Just trying to focus a little bit. Oh, computer's dead. Get three silver, and then I get to journal. So I can go through either the vista or open water space. Do I want? Oh, and then boo -boo. So I can either get two blue influence, which is less useful mm -hmm. to me because of all the uh, boats I can get on twos, mm -hmm. or I can get a couple of provisions. So neither of them is uh, usually useful. Let me look at what comes next. If I go here, I can achieve that one. I would need a second star card in order to advance on that one um, and then I would absolutely need a black influence tricky little advancement yeah. puzzle here do I have any influence movement icons it's another question for another day thank you yeah. <laughs> all right I think I shall advance to I need to get. I do need to get some influence out there because I don't want to give you nine points at the end of the game for dominating all of these. What mean? <laughs> oh, I forgot to take this again. Yep. Okay. That is you. Yeah, that's me done. I will do something that I'm not really wanting to do, but that's okay. I will put this one here because that's not the same color, so I can. Yep. I'll do this one again this time. I will remove it from here. Right? Uh, you can only remove one per turn. Ah. Uh, so Sorry, no, my mistake. What? Sorry, wrong. That's only if That's you play. That's for both. Yes, thank you. Right. I was like, no, my ru my plane is ruined. And yeah. then I take one of these. My mistake. It's okay. It's okay, Darren. It's okay. I will probably get this one. and place it oh, actually I can flip it this way as well if I want to like so and then cover in proficient give me proficient uh, yes yep. thank you so now you have a double boat yeah and then I don't know if that's wise or not let's see what happened um, that's it okay all right that's it that's I'll put it here sorry I forgot to put it in this camera. All right, Taran, what are you going to do? All right, I will play my... Um, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. I'll play this two here, because now that you've got a double boat, I want to snatch away the cards that would give you the benefit to do that. 
So I'll put this here, it will cost me only one provision because I gain one from here. To take, oh I could get a lot of workers. Circadians. I feel like uh, Shem's got this. Shem got the chat. Thanks Shem. I feel like when we when we stream uh, Shem's game, we let the chat, leave the chat to Shem and then we focus on the game. Don't you think? Thanks Shem and everybody. Yeah, Milara, what time's over there? It must be so like, ooh, Legacy of You should be on Kickstarter around August this year. Oh, that's amazing. By the way, speaking about Legacy of You, Legacy of You, I believe that plays solo, I might be wrong. Now, I occasionally play solo, but I'll play solo for Shem's game, of course. And we do have um, a friend who's probably helping us doing solo play through so we may play Wayfarer's solo as well we'll see okay hang on you're still thinking I should probably think what I'm gonna do next I'm still thinking I will probably take I was going to just snatch up the double boat one mm -hmm. um, but I kind of want a worker Mm. Maybe two <coughs> workers. Green workers are pretty helpful because there's some pretty good actions up there. So yeah. I might take this for the sole purpose of getting the two workers. Very good card. Um, so it gives me an inspiration card. Uh, four libraries, six comets, three planets, or four vistas. I'm actually not convinced I'm going to get any of those. So, instead what I might do is discard one of them to get the effect. So I'm going to get rid of this one, pop that on the bottom of the deck, and do the action that was here, which is to gain a provision and put an influence onto a guild. Okay. I'll put it up on the black guild. Hey! Hey, Sam McDonald's here as well. Hey, Sam. Sam is the conscious designer of Tigris. Yes. Sorry, Wayfarers. Is it my turn? Did, let's slide this one here as well. Yes. Here as well. Did you take the card that... Oh, with a lot of maple sauce. Yeah. Sad. <laughs> so sad. Okay. Uh, I will play the six this time into my tableau here. So is the... Um, what is it? Telescope? which I have in here, so let's telescope in six. Mm -hmm. I will take, oh no, I don't have money. Do I have money? I don't you have, have two money. I, don't, I can't take the planet one because it costs three, right? Correct. Oh, I thought I had it, but I didn't. So sad. Okay, I'll just going to be put it in there and then get the money. That's it. That's right. okay. Waste. Again, Taren. All right. I shall take this opportunity to beef up my, up my rest even more. So I'll turn my one into a two and pop it there. What? Okay. I wanted that so. one. I just couldn't get it. So sad. <laughs> All right. There you go. I'm going to uh, shuffle my tableau to the left while we're... Mm. That's my go now. I will rest as well. So I'll just take this. Have you roll all your dice? I didn't oh, rest. Oh yeah, you I didn't rest, sorry. Uh, okay, that is it. And then my rest action gives me two coins in total. Oh no, I forgot about something as well. Two coins in total and then moving one of the, the thing here. So I'm going to move that here. And then ink. Well, so I have out of this, I have two of the blue upgrades. So I'm moving here. Unfortunately, I could not get this, but I can discard it to get the benefit. But I'll get this last die, roll it to my collection, and then I will discard. Um, I think, what do I need? I'll discard this one. To get two coins. Give me two coins please, yeah. Thank you very much, friend. Friend, husband, friend. Okay, that's it. Um, all right, what do I do now? Mm -hmm. You want me to go first? I'm gonna, take, <laughs> I'm gonna take my four, because I'm falling behind. I mean, 
things are advancing very quickly uh, in this game. Yeah, I think. So I'm going to take my four and put it here and journal. Very good. This is a little bit inefficient because I can only journal this direction because I have green. That lets me take a blue and I'm going to take uh, the harbour. Oh, actually no, I can make this work. I'm going to take the harbour and place it here. Because it's a harbour, I get a silver and a provision. Free promo pack all to all backers. Oh. And because I covered this, I get to move and influence up here. I oh, can't wait for... Then I'll spend it to journal a second time. And the cost and is to spend down. the other one. Advance there. And get one of each. Is good. Done. First, I'm going to use this two to. I don't really want to use this two. I had a plan and then I forgot again. Okay, I'm going to use this four to go here. That is, that gives me a um, townsfolk. I'll take this one before it disappears. Mm -hmm. So this costs me three. One, two, three. And then I will put this under, it can only go under um, open, open, sea, water. open water. So I'm going to put it here. Okay. And that's my go. Okay. All right. I have a six. Oops. I have a six which I could use on a telescope action. Um, or I could place one of the workers. Um, what do I want to do here? Do I want another tile or do I want... It's only been an hour and a bit. I think we're about halfway through. This is a quick game this time, I feel. It's relatively quick. You're, you're advancing quite fast as well, which helps. Yeah. I think I want to keep building up my space but empire. It, it does get harder though to, to advance, definitely. So I'm going to place this worker here. That lets me take a space card for a one discount. So I'll spend four silver to take the moon. Uh, the moon gives me an immediate blue influence. Very good. And we'll advance that. Is that it? That's it. No, I think it gets slower. Um, I, I can tell it gets slower. Because requirement would be really, like, it's getting harder. So, my go. I will take number two to put it here. Pay two provision. And get a coin and a um, land card. So, one of these I shall get. And I will take this one. No, thank you. That is my turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to do Boom. an early <laughs> rest, I think. So you don't get the bonus? N not a super early rest, I've got one card, so. Oh, okay. You got not one card, one dice left. One, one, one die, die left. Yep. So yeah. So I'm gonna roll them all. One, three, three, six. That's a pretty good roll for me. I get three. I get four silver and a provision now. Very good. Okay. And then uh, I journal. I have three uh, three harbors, so I can journal through here. That gives me my next die. Means my resting will be slower in future, and lets me take one of those cards. So again, 
what's going to double my points for libraries is difficult four vistas is difficult three three blue ones Stella might get I might just uh, d discard this one again. I didn't actually know what I didn't usually see. So I'll get a provision and place an influence up on black. Okay. Are uh, you? Yes. My God. I will put use this six one to put it here. Because my six one has got a boat already. Two boats actually. Pay two provision and get this one. Big money okay, engine there. Yeah, you want to slide it over for me, please? Thank you very much. And it can only go here and have one. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, I have a lot of money, so may maybe I shouldn't take that anyway. Doesn't matter. All right, there you yep. go. I will turn a. Oh, sorry. What, where do I put it here? My bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not underneath. Do. Okay, back to you. Okay. I turn a, t a three into a two, put it put here, spend put one provision because of the discount there to get a harbor card. Yay! I'll pop it there, I get that worker, I get an immediate silver from here, and I get a silver and a provision from well there. Done. Well done, Tarrant. Okay. Me? Yeah, our tableaus are getting very close to each other now. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna put number one. Number one. Number one has got a camel here. To go here. To mm, do I actually want to do that? Do I want to do this tarot? No, yes, yeah, okay. Do this, and then I gain a green upgrade, which I will get the telescope, put it here. Maybe that'll work, maybe it's not. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then this one here is to put something in somewhere. <laughs> put an influence somewhere. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, okay. Done. You. Okay. Oh yeah, thank you. Do I pay? Did I pay the coins? I wasn't paying attention. I didn't think I did, so I'm gonna pay coins. Two coins. All right. Mm -hmm. I will turn. Oh yeah, get it back. That's right. I got one. I forgot. Thank you. I forgot to um, use this one to get one proficient back. Yeah. All right. I'll turn my three. Like you into, did before. Turn my three into a two and gain four provisions. Taran the teddy bear tyrant. Lol. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah. I'm sure I probably. Hopefully, I didn't miss a lot of things here. Hey, Chris. Oh, Chris is here. Chris from Dice Tower. Sorry, I missed you. And um, and the nerd shelf. Hello, 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 friends. Head in wall. Oh, I miss all the good chats. Oh, I'll, I'll probably watch it afterwards. <laughs> so sad. I really want to talk to people. All right, is that you? That's me, though. But we can probably think quicker because Shem helps us in the chat. Yes. And who cares about us? Like everyone just cares about Shem, right? Surely, no. Oh no, I need to do something and I couldn't. I couldn't do something. Oh, wow. This is like, this is not good. This is, hmm. Well, I'm as good as usual this time. Not not as usual as if like, I'm really good, but I'm not. Hmm. Damn. Oh, I need to do that. I need to do this as well. I need to do that. And I could not do that. What I'm going to do, Taran? This is pretty sad. I did not time the things right. Hmm. I think though, I think 
I want to start getting I could not have I need stethoscope and I do not have the stethoscope telescope telescope but I could it doesn't wrap around as well so my number one is wasteful waste wasted mm -hmm. mm. so sad We're also both about to hit the wall, I think, when it comes to our uh, advancement. Advancements. Um, you okay right now? But it's I getting go, harder. I can go one, but I can't go two. I can't even go one. one. That's why, I'm like, I want to rest, but I can't even meet the full the requirements. So either for harbor, I've got two harbors, or for cities. How many cities? Oh, actually. You have three cities. Mm -hmm. See hit the wall on the see this is like as I say advancing kind of like quicker at the start and then it goes like meow all right I think I know what I'm gonna do I will do I need that no I don't Oh dear, so this is getting the green for free. Yes. And plus minus one die, which is useless for me. True. I really am stuck at the moment. If I retrieve, I could not do the inkwell, which is inefficient. I could um, I could go there, but that's like so expensive to gain one of these cards. Is there any other way to gain that card? No, just the um, just the ones down there. Mm -hmm. And I only have one proficient, unfortunately, at the moment. So I think I'm going to have to retrieve and rest. And I will get. I will not get the inkwell because I don't have the. Uh, action because I don't have the requirement. Yep. I do, however, get two coins and two proficiency and one influence move. Uh, yeah, and one influence move, which I will move it. I can choose not to move right. I can choose not to move. You can, yes. But do I not want to move? Let's see. It's Hmm. So sad. I'll move it. This one. <laughs> I was like, I need to like go and find which one is which. Uh, blue and yellow. No, I'm not gonna move. That's it. Just mm -hmm. leave it there. Yep. All right. Do you anticipate a Kickstarter and no money? Oh no. Stella, you could put a pigeon in one of your camel columns. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. That's okay. Never mind. Thanks, Sam. Forgot about that. Okay. Mm. Oh, no, I don't have a camel column to actually gain this. So I don't actually have the, like, I can't pay. I can't pay this amount. And my thingy was, my thing was blocked as well. My, my camel action to get that yellow card blocked, so. All right, um, I'm going to turn one into two. Yep. Place this one here and take messenger. This can go under a harbor or a city, so I'll pop it under a city. Very good. Yeah, that gives me a worker. Okay, my go. Go go. I'm gonna put camel here, so there's number one, there's camel in number one. And now it's technically, do you have to pay? You can, go in, you can go in either order. Okay, so I just pay one and then get one coin and one of the, this, so I'm going to take this one. And that's it. That is it. Okay. I will... Go to your <coughs> board. Yep. 
I'm going to place green worker up here uh, to... Oh, what happened here at the top? Oh, yeah, slide them. Okay, I'm going to place green worker here, pay three provisions to look at the top three. And pick one. Mm -hmm. um, which one of these would I want? Mm. Oh, Jan is here! Hooray! I'm so happy to see lots of you here today. Oh, Bobby! Yeah. And, uh, Chris, spend the first month in a long time. I've dropped some crowdfunding money. This is looking sweet. There you go. Sorry, everyone in Europe, it's so late in there. And please do enter the giveaway. Yeah, and I'm so glad that Kickstarter is at the end of the month. I have ruled that one game per month and silly me, I got a game already. I was hoping Wayfair was late. <laughs> April, I got my wish. Hang on, so it's once a month. Does that mean work like 12 a year? So can you can you rearrange things so that it's 12? As long as it's 12 a year, whether it's financial or selling a year, which is June and July. <laughs> it's getting gross. Okay. Yeah. Is it my go now? It is your go. Yeah. Mm. I had a plan. I want to go uh, to here. Yeah. So again, it's on sounds for car. I will gain this one. This Mr. Ad oh, actually, this yeah, Mr. Adventurer here, and Mrs. Adventurer can only go in here. Oh, and here. So either way, I'm gonna just put it here. Yep, done. Uh, did I pay the coin? I believe I haven't. There's a coin there. I don't remember you saying you paid a yeah, coin. Yeah, okay, now I pay a coin. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, my tableau is uh, sprawling off the page now. Is it good? It's not very good. People can't see my tableau. Mm. I'll figure out a way around it. I'll, <laughs> I'll squeeze them in. Mm -hmm. All right, my six will give me a telescope. So I'm going to place it here and spend three silver to get one of these tiles and I think um, I need a few more icon combinations so I'm gonna get the one that has mm, three icons so now my so now my six has any combination except for two boats okay that is really good Tarrant well a done ski my go you're right Okay, I will. Uh, I will you might this for something. I will go to number five. So number five, I can add to number six, right? Yes. So let's change to six. I'll put it here, which has got the telescope, and I will get. I will buy planet cards, so I pay three. Get this one, and that is it. And you get an immediate provision. Hmm? Oh yes, thank you. Okay, you go. Sometimes I know what I want, but then others like, oh no, what am I going to do? Badum. Ah, oh, oh, somebody say badum to this. Somebody say badum this. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, um, we'll come down to mine. I'm just going to put this one mm -hmm. up here. It is a land card, uh, but until I run out of space for space cards, I'm not going to do that. So I can put this here. That will let me buy. It will let me put an influence on blue and buy a space card. I will purchase. I will buy the uh, lowest cost one. I think. Yep. So this is worth one point for each star card. Very good. And I immediately get to influence a card. Yep. Um, oh, what happened with the TV? It disappeared. Not sure. <laughs> okay, I'll influence uh, that card up there. Okay. Right. Is that it? 
that is it. Mm. Oh, the planet gun hasn't been mixed around like that. Yep. Okay. okay, I think I will survive. I will survive. La 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 la. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not going to survive here. So sad. Uh, uh, no, I can't do that. Yes, I can do that. No, I can't. Oh, yes, I can do that. No. <laughs> mm. What did I use the six of it? Uh, anyways, whatever. I'm going to use the six and get a lot of money for me. Or I can use the two. Yes, Sam? Yeah, this is tricky. I haven't been in a position where my this is uh, tricky, man. my advancements have. I didn't think ahead far enough. This is this is tough because you need to think about something else, and then you forgot about other things. You know, one of those. Yeah. This is my go. Uh, I will use the six. I will use the six. I have to get this one. So six has got two boards, so I get four coins. That's it. You're gone, Karen. You're gonna have to rest you. I will be resting this. Okay, you're gone. You. Okay, I'm just uh, squeezing my tableau up a little bit, but yep. I shall rest. So I pick up all my dice. Six, six, one, two, one. Pretty much What's the same as last pitch? time. Yep. And I get four silver. One provision. And two journals. So I can do my, I can do this next journal, which takes me here. I get a green worker and influences on yellow and very, blue. Very, very good. Oh, when layouts. This is what parent wolf do. But at the moment, I'm stuck, so I can't advance any further. Ah, oh, you get the first green, green worker. No, <laughs> that's your go. Uh, that's my go. Yes. Sheesh. Sheesh kebabs. All right, my go. I will rest. I will take all of this. And I will do. Oh, I forgot to leave the dice behind. Never mind. I will get. How many coins do I have here? Two coins. So give me one coin over here. Two coins. One. Two proficient. I'm swimming now. Swimming in coins and proficient. I'm sure I'll use it very fast. And then. Two proficient, two coins and move a, a thing at the top there which I want to do again and then I will do well maybe I should nah just leave it and I will do the inkwell which I can I have four cities tag and I will move it I can only move it over here yep. so I will put in blue and green. I think that's blue it. Yep. Sorry, blue and yellow. Okay. Mm -hmm. My go. A simple turn. I get four provisions. Okay. Mine also, I believe, pretty simple. I will turn the five into six again. And I'll put it there and I get another planet card for three coin. So planet is one of planet per planet, sorry, one point per one per planet. Yep, each of those cards is worth three at the moment. Becomes okay. a real problem for me if you uh, get more planets. Okay, mm -hmm. open that. Yeah. Ooh, the sun. I want the sun. Oh no! And, and you I can. have the sun. What to get the sun? Aww, so sad. All right. So sun is a big scoring uh, one for me. Um, yeah. So I'll play the six. I'll spend my five silver. I need this. Yeah. I grab the sun, uh, and that gives me a yellow influence. That's you. Yep. 
I need a, a pigeon, everybody. I need a pigeon. Actually, I'm going to put the six down there um, and also get a uh, blue influence. Mm -hmm. All right, my go. Okay. I will pay three here and then get one of the what are these these guys the the envoy and pay two did I what's that three there oh that's for something else that's for the planet pay two and then I will deploy this person here okay okay all right I am going to give up. You always kidding. think I'm going to give up. I'm mm. kidding. Oh, you're going to win. You are going to win. You're going to dominate. All right. I'm going to place uh, a you don't. one. I'm going to place a one <laughs> here. <laughs> spend two provisions to get a silver and a yellow card. And I'm going to use this pigeon to take them from here. Very good. Very good. Hmm. I'm just peeking what you got there. Alright, I will play that one, which gives me an immediate of two silver. Please remind me what this is. Seven tiles. Wow. So this is including this this count as this count is one or two tiles? One tile. Oh no. That's really tough. Actually, not that tough. All right, <laughs> <laughs> me, 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 me. I think I will use my number number four die to go here. So number four has got. So you know what? It doesn't matter because it's got its own thing. So. Just get number three. Number three is pretty useless for me. So number three has got the camel, which is that one. Did I actually, when I get this, did I actually put on yellow? I don't think I did put on yellow. I can't first. remember. Is that the bonus run? Yep. Yeah. No, I didn't. So there you go. And then I have this two, so I got pigeon, so I'm going to do this one again. So pay to proficient, by the way. This is bad, everybody. This is and uh, not really what I want. But but it's not too bad. Oh that is that is boo. Hmm. Okay, I uh, will take one of these. One which Oh no, AP again. Parent. Okay. No, I'm just gonna oh. gonna choose one. <laughs> um. Hmm. The bonus is like both of, all of them are Vista cards. So every time I get a CT, I get a coin. Every time I gain one of these cards, I gain to get meeple. So it's not very helpful at the moment, but I think I'm gonna choose this one. Hmm. Okay. And your immediate is to retrieve a die. Correct. Which I would retrieve this number six and re-roll. Okay, number six again. You go. Okay. I Panda Angel from Twitch. Hello! Hello friend! Lurking while working. Oh that's lovely. Team Stella, yay. I don't know who's gonna win Shem and Sam. I think Taran has got a good end of game points of that over there. Alright, I will play uh, this six here. Spend one provision. I'll do it here and spend two provisions, gain one silver, and because I've got a pigeon, I can grab the top three. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. I was going to go straight for one thing, but that's quite a nice bonus. Oh no, you got a good one. Chip Chip game from, oh, on Twitch as well. Okay. I've played a lot. 
plenty of games at five players that I would never play again at five low. That's true for everyone, I guess. Maybe what five players? It's too long. Okay. All right, I'll take. Is it on you? No, it's on me. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right, so I'll take this one. It gives me an influence on a card. We're getting um, scarce on space here, so <laughs> we are. Bit. Yes. You have to um, zoom out the thing. An influence on a card, and it gives me a free space upgrade. Mm. So I'll take this one, which is worth uh, three points and a up or minus, so I can make my five something better. And I covered a provision, so I gained a provision. Oh. I made a boo boo again. Great. Okay. Okay. And I'm just gonna. Oh no, I can't uh, change the order. Yes. I'm just thinking of ways of squeezing my uh, tableau up. Okay. My go? Yep. I'll take number number six over here. Thank you very much. And I will use it to go here, which has got the telescope thing. And I will take, I will pay three money, 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 to take one of these. Now, which one of these do I want? I want to take probably, this is like a good one. So I should probably take this one before Taran snatch it off me. Mm, I only have two spaces, or oh no, three spaces that I can go to, to do. So I'm going to just put it in here. So this gets me a proficient and an influence on one of the cards, which, well, you know, we'll just put it here. Let's make it harder for Terra. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I will play my one here, spend one provision um, and an extra provision to go looking through the top of these. Oh no, I made a boo boo. No, I don't. Never mind. Alright, once again, um, I'm going to do this so I get a blue influence. And I put these on the bottom. And because it is a harbour, I get a silver and a provision. Alright, my go. I know what I want now. I will take this number three. Now number three has got like pretty much almost all the icons. I'm gonna put it right here for camel and use the pigeon as well. Get a one provision discount, so only pay one. And take the top three again, because I've got a pigeon. And let's have a look what's in there. And this is what I want, so. Put it underneath, please. Basically we're both hunting for books, if you haven't worked that out. Yeah. <laughs> I got the book. <laughs> I'm going to just slide things over there because it's getting big. Yeah. I think that's it. Okay. Oh, where can I slide it? No, it's not the sliding thingy. All right, I put it on its own. Yep. Okay. All right. This is my book, okay, not yours. Cool. I rest. <laughs> can you advance? I roll all of these. I can't advance. I get four silver and I get one provision. Sorry, Tara. Okay. My god. There we go. I will rest as well. So where is my thing? One, two, three, four. Take all I uh, will actually leave this one. Okay, that's that's not bad. That's not the best, but it's not bad. And then I get how many coins is that? Two coins. Two proficients. Moving this. Okay, I'll move it here. And then I will get the inkwell action, which I have the book now. And move it here, and then I get this bonus, which is one of these. And I'd like it if I can get the point one. What's the highest? I'll get this point one. Whatever. Comment. Depends. Depends oh, what you call planets. Out. That's right. It's like the planet one is good for me because three plus then I get oh no it's actually not that good is it good or not 
It makes each of your planets worth one more point, and no, it no, itself is worth one. three points. Okay. All right, and then I will put it here. Okay. That, that's it. Okay. Mm, yep. My go. Oh, sorry, you. Use yeah. this one. Yep. All right, I will... Um, I'll start by playing a six here. No, I'll start by playing a six here. No, nope, here. <laughs> Spend one provision. It's and almost finished. Draw the three cards. I think it's almost finished. Okay, I'll pop this oh, one down. Did I forget to move one of oh, no, I've done move, okay. Pop this one down here so I get a free provision. Yeah, just put it there. <laughs> okay. Migo? You go. Migo. I'm gonna put this number six over here. You know what? I can just like you know, I can put number five, but that's that's okay. It doesn't matter because my five now is pretty much six because it's got a plus symbol in there. Yep. So I'll put the six Put it here, get this, get this one, and pay three. Okay. So that is a star card that rewards combinations of comets, planets, and stars. So you need some comets for that to score. You do have one comet, so. I just need the stars. Yep. Oh, good star. This is star tag, no? And that is a star tag. Yes. yes. Very good. I will put it here. Cool. Okay. okay. Me. Eric, show it on the. North side or the West Kingdom, that's a really hard choice. Everything is good. Everything is good. All right, um, I shall spend a one here. Two provisions, one silver, and look at three of these. Still no books. Okay, which of these is going to be most worthwhile? I get some silver out of that, so let's do that. <coughs> right, so immediate is two silver. Right. I feel so nervous because I was like, oh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Just like that. My go? Your go. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm gonna put it here. So number four has got the um, pigeon and telescope. Mm -hmm. That lets me put an influence here and in the black. And lets me put a, I do an ink action, which I do have seven tiles on my tableau. Here, seven of those. Yep. And then I get to put two influence in yellow. Your go. Okay. I have one more to go. And I can actually, I can go there, can I? It's by just removing from black. You could if you wanted to. Yeah. So we would each get one more turn if you chose to end it. Yep. But you're not going to? I don't know yet. I haven't thought about it yet. You have to do it now. No, no, I advance from here to here. Yeah, if you want to advance again by spending a black, you have to do it now. Mm, oh, as in like, if do it right now. Yep. Oh, juicy. I, I can. Should I end it now? Shem and Sam, should I end it now or not? Oh, is there anything else that I really want to do? Let's see what you have. This is three per, three per sun. There's no sun there. You keep getting all the sun. Uh, it's, seven, it's seven points each. Oof. Because I got the sun and the moon. All right, we'll let's see what Shem or Sam said. Should I, should I spend one black influence to advance the ink well to end this game now or not? Because I could wait one more turn if I want to, and and still be okay. Uh, yeah, I could. Shem, I plan to do making for small pairs area. Sorry, so Shem hasn't an answered yet. Well, I think about this. Uh, Yanis. Never give Terran more time, Stella. That's actually a good point. 
you do have a lot of points coming from there but I'm not too sure if I can win it <laughs> because you have to look at what exactly what what things you have I don't have a lot of points the points coming from let's remind everybody the points coming from what points come from uh, matching and non-matching sets of the four basic icons harbors open water cities and vistas they come from the objectives on all your space cards uh, the any tiles that are in here and majorities on the guilds question is how many book tags do you have one i'm not advancing anymore <laughs> okay that's what i thought all right i'm gonna yami said shem said i will end it now so i'm gonna Spend one because you've got a better engine. I will advance this one here. That's the only place I can advance to, I think. So you have to spend another one. Uh, oof. I think, no, I can't. Do I have uh, <coughs> one? This is mine, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I also have this one, so I can, I can go there. I can go there um, and I get support here. So this one, top one, will let me put in any guild. So if I even had put two here, I would, I won't win, <coughs> right? One, two, three, four, five. So you got six. So I think best is to actually go there and then just put it here, and then I will get either inspiration card or the that hack. So let's see. Planets, combination of planet, comet. This is a two comets. I only have one star, which is useless. Probably inspiration is probably best at this stage if I have it. Like this one. So I have yeah. three of these. No, you have oh no, you have two of those. Oh shoot. I have You've got one more turn to get the third one, potentially. Potentially. Mm. In fact, yeah, there's no, there's no reason you can't. Yeah, there's no reason I can't. So this one, this is probably is the easiest one. Well, I can get a planet tag. Um, no, I can't get. Okay, I'll get this one. Alright. Alright. Okay. Um, so we each have one more turn. <coughs> I can't journal, so. I have worked out that Fista the Pink Upgrade. Oh, sorry, get the Fista Pink Upgrade. What's that? Oh yeah, the Fista Pink Upgrade. What is that? This one. Fista. That would also be worth five points to you, I think. No, it's eight. Uh, worth eight VP. Oh yeah, plus it makes it a two pointer. But this one is worth All that does is doubles a three point card. So that's worth... But you get that three. anyway. Oh no, you don't get that anyway. I don't get it's that a, anyway. It's an either or. Yeah. Thanks, Shem. If I win, I'm cheating because I got help. Okay. And I can move stuff. So I can move this one here. I'll just move here to make sure. Alright, so... Yeah, that means I won't be able to... I don't think I've got a way of getting to Black Influence. So those are probably all set. Um, so I think getting the highest scoring space card for me is probably the way to go because any townsfolk is worth one point at this moment. I could get six points by getting a city but there's no uh, open action that will let me take a city card. So that one is out. I could get three points by getting another tile so yeah I will put my six on here get another blue influence for good measure and uh, buy a space card so I have more silver than I needed in the end four and one more action to get this oh uh, which gives me points for Vistas, of which I have three, plus it itself scores off that star card. So I think that's my best option. 
All right. Go with it. That is it. I'm going to start. Oh, hang on. I got one more turn. You got one more turn. I'm going to start sorting my cards by icon. Gosh, I need to. I need to. I could have got the Feaster card like now if I want to. I actually. I got the means to do it. Well, how many Feaster do I have? One, two. The third one is one. Gosh, I'm going to do. One, two, three. Indecisive last turn. Indecisive last turn, everybody, while Karen is counting his stuff. I also want to, I assume that uh, the, the Garfield, so Garfield Games has got an app, like a, like a score app, score, rather than score pad, it's score app. I assume this is going to be there as well. What I'm gonna do? What? Where's the most point? So Fista, getting another Fista is probably. What's the set line do I have? What set do I have here? Fista City. Okay, I think I'm gonna get another Fista. Is it okay, turn? Do I get another Fista? It's within the rules. <laughs> Because if I get another Fista, that means I have three Fista, so that's one point. Plus, hopefully, I can get... Nah, I don't get more sets. One, two... I need to get one open water. I need to get four open waters, but I only have one, unfortunately. It's like, either way, I'm not doing... Oh, hang on. One, two, three... No, I need to get one open water. Let's get one open water. All right. <laughs> well done. Sorry, everybody. Last time, always been like, oh no, what did I do? Um, the one with board. Okay, just change this to six and put it here. Of course, two proficient, which I have. And then I get an open water one. Now I have four open water for this one. That's it. And get the bonus. And you get the bonus, which comes with a point as well. What? What's the bonus? Oh free, yeah. Free green tile. Oh, I haven't got this. No, I have. Don't worry. It's too late. So, free green tile. Green they're, tile doesn't actually all the point. give me anything. So I'm just going to put it gives here you a for... Point. Huh? I'll give you a point. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. That's okay. it. We're done. Phew. So we can probably... So while you sort yours out by icon, I can go through my points because oh, the only gonna... the only real interaction is the um the comments so do i need to get my calculator uh maybe all right so <clears throat> first we score these icons so i have two cities for two points that's not your calculator i press the wrong buttons so i have two cities for two points I have three vistas for three points. I have seven harbors for 16. And I have three open waters for three. So that's, uh, and then the lowest of those was two, so I've got two full incomplete sets for 10. Then for my uh, stars, this one is one for each tile work um, townsperson pair. So I've got six pairs. I've got. Oh, yeah, I meant to do this. I've got six pairs and I've got six provisions to trigger that double. So I got 12 for that. I get one point per star. I've got three stars, so three points. I get one point per vista. I have three vistas, so three points. I do not have the most comets, I think. How many comets do you have? One. Duh. How many comets do you have? One. Okay. Uh, so let me Time just breaker. check for the tie. Uh, and maybe Shin can jump in before I can find it. <laughs> I either get three or four points for this. I think ties are friendly from memory. Um, sorry, everybody. The 
come out tiles if you have more than each individual opponent, which I do not. Okay. So unfriendly tires, that gives me another three points. And then I get... Just three VP, you have to have the most. I get Five seven for the sun and seven for the moon, so that's 14. So 69 All is up. my final. Well, oh, sorry, mm -hmm. um, that's not final. Then I get the points on these oh, tiles, yes, yes. which is six. Um, not many for there actually. And then for the main layout, I have one majority, which one is another three. three points. So 78. 78. Well Score done. To beat. 78. I'm going to type it in. 78 for Tarrant. So I remember. All right, my go. Okay. Which one are we going to start first? Cities. Cities. Is, I think, one, two, three, four, is that it? Five. Five, sorry. Five, five cities is eight, eight points. I've got two, two vistas, seasons, two points. Two points. Harbors. Uh, two harbors. For two points. And open water. Four, which four is open five. water is five points. And then non matching sets is two, so ten points. Yep. All right, space cards. I've got, well, this is, I forgot to count this thing. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six townsfolk. Yep. Plus. And you do double it. Oh, you've got enough tiles. Yep. And you got enough open water, so 12 points for that, same Great. as me. Yeah, four, yep. Okay. This one's? Planets, so each planet is worth two. So that's four points. Y yes. Each set of a planet, star, and comet is worth three, so that's three points. Yep. Uh, all of your tiles. So five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, I think. Eleven. And then majorities this, this on... You got dissimilar, set, yep. right? Majorities on guilds is six. Oh, you won! Sixty-three. Sixty-three for me. Well, congratulations, Stan. Congratulations. So I want three. I feel like I want three. Where's that? Can you grab that meeple first? I want three streams in a row, and then that is the end of my winning strike. So let me just grab the sound effect here for me <laughs> but for you applause. <laughs> applause. I don't think I have won Shams Games live stream ever it's always you well done I'm sure you would have beaten me at Paladins I'm not very good at Paladins I don't know about that but that's it there we yeah. have it that is the game of Wayfarers of the South Tigris yes now Gonna remind everybody to enter the giveaway. Yes, head to mapleuniversity.com slash giveaway, enter the password Shem, um, Shem put in your details, refresh the screen if it doesn't bring you there. You almost fell. The hmm? laptop almost fell. Oh, that's on the edge. Um, and the prize will be a uh, Kickstarter pledge for the game, fulfilled when the when the campaign fulfills, uh, including the metal coins. You have to thank the Academy and your producer and the director, Karen. Sure. <laughs> That's it? That's it. Hey, and that is it, everybody. Well done there. This is such a good game. It's always this good feeling of trying to combo your thing, trying to upgrade. Hey, we've got recent subscribers. Welcome to the family. Always a, a good feeling of trying to build your engine and buy, build your collection and everything else in between. Yeah, that one played a bit differently to our other experiences, I think, because yep. uh, we both got really stuck in the middle and we're just hunting for libraries. <laughs> we're we're um, both hunting for book libraries, yeah. Because there are some in here, but and there's so, there's some there's in both decks, but there yeah. weren't that many. So there's also to, one one in the um, in the pink one, pink tile. Yes, but I didn't think ahead enough to get that. I was looking, but I was like, oh, that's so hard. I was like focusing so much on, I guess what happened was I was focusing so much on fulfilling that and I didn't really like do the combo that very well. But that's, mm -hmm. that's basically and there's And there are really, like the further you advance on here, 
there's really good points in getting these pinks. They can, you know, at the very least, you can get one that will give mm -hmm. you five points. Yeah. Um, so there's lots of good points in that. Yeah. So this is, again, this is our last live playthrough, not last playthrough, in this studio. Because yes. next week we will move to a new place and we will be live streaming from there. And we will be playing Founders of Teotihuacan with also giveaway. Yes, which I guess is appropriate for the foundation of a new studio. A new home as well, Tara. Yes. My new studio getting paint or finished painting. It's like kind of like a darkish color. So we'll see how that kind of turns out. And hopefully you can join us for Founders of Teotihuacan next weekend. So this is like also from Board and Dice, um, who originally did the Teotihuacan. Yes. Anything else, Taryn? Uh, we've got we've got 160 entries, everybody. Let me just make sure that all of the entries are there. Yeah. And now Taryn has set up the one on his phone. Yes. Um. Thank you, everybody, for um, for watching this and. Yes, thank you, News to Joe. <laughs> thank you, Sham and Sam, for helping us in the chat. Everyone for asking the question. Oh, Terrence got a control. It's not 102. It is 161. No, 161. 161, all right. Do you want to show quickly what the, um, what the email is? No, not really. Quickly flick through email. What? What do we got? Yeah, that one. So we'll just show. There you go. Yep. One sixty one, and that is going and going and and so. gone. All right. <laughs> one sixty one. Yeah. Turn it up. So back to the. I'm cage. training Taryn to uh, operate the thing. Turn it on again, Taryn. Oh, that's quite light. I forgot to turn it down a little bit. Sorry, anyone who's wearing earplugs. Sorry. All right, let's just like quickly. I'll do this quickly because it's a very loud one. Let's see who's winning this. Congratulations, number 60. Who's number 60, Tara? Yeah, wrong. I can see here already. And this is the person who say the big fan of Shams Game in Canada. I remember the comments earlier, I think. I think that's the one. Three, and six, six. Oops. Ah, ah. No, no, back, back, back. Sorry. Did you accidentally class it? Did you accidentally show it? Uh, I got it off before it showed. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, 61 and Can I turn it on again? 60. Can I turn it on? Yes. Should I edit this later or not? It's good. Mm, it's not showing. Check. Uh, anyway, kayak and ski bum. Yay! Congratulations for winning this lovely present from Board and Dice. It's not Board and Dice, it's Garfield Games. Garfield Games. <laughs> oh Sorry. my god, they saw that! <laughs> Next week. Garfield Games. That I'm going to edit out. Oh my god. <laughs> I was focusing Sorry, on chef. my phone. Yes. <laughs> Next week's one. Give everyone the plug. This one is Garfield Games. <laughs> Parents, so bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> congratulations, friends! You've come to. Um, I remember the name because you can do our live stream a few times because it's a memorable name. Mm -hmm. I only remember the bum part, like ski bum. Yes. What is it? The first one? Something kayak. kayak and ski bum. Congratulations! You want a copy of the pledge? You will get it as the game fulfilled thanks to Garfield Games. Yes. <laughs> and <Fine>. Shem. <laughs> I can't Garfield believe you said that. <laughs> oh, so bad. Um, and that's it. That's it. Hopefully, you join us next. Thank you so much again, everybody, for saying the chat. Sorry, I missed a lot of your chats. And Shem and Sam. And good luck for the Kickstarter. Uh, Shem has put it in the in the chat. The link to the Kickstarter, which is in about a couple of days. Yep. And that's it. And that's it. Uh, <clears throat> last day of filming, we're going to pack up the rest of the studio as well today and do all that as usually people do when they move house. Yes. We'll be tired next week. We'll be tired. We won't be that tired. We'll be Thank tired. you, Shem, for putting the link. So don't forget to click that link um, and hit uh, be notified when the Kickstarter launch. And we have 
if you you know we have my short and sweet video for Wayfarers of the South Tigris and Terence how to play video and we're thinking about doing a solo as well so we'll see that's it indeed that's indeed it. Uh, and thank you so much for watching and see you next maybe stay for the secret ending everybody bye, bye. We back for the secret ending. We have taxed up the puppets. So Ozzy and Rexy is now somewhere in the box, or maybe even living in the new house. <laughs> so it's just me and Taren this time. Yes. So Taren, we played Wayfarers of the South Tigris, which set in the I like to say desert. De sorry, desert, but it's desert. Yeah. It's almost similar. Yeah. So Taren. What do you get when you cross a cactus with a duck? I feel like this should have been last week's. Maybe. <laughs> a cactus with a duck. Um, spiky. Spiky quacks. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, Everyone? Everyone give up? Spotted mallard. I don't know. The answer is quactus. It's oh. a quactus. That was simple. Uh, what's... When the last time I visited Sahara Desert... Mm -hmm. By the way, I saw a celebrity. Who was this celebrity that you saw? It's Nicki Mirage. Shem's <laughs> <laughs> got a, I think, I've got the best homing pigeon ever. I've sold it a hundred times this week already. Wait, wait, wait. Well, that just sounds like fraud. Yeah, Shem, it's <laughs> fraud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Uh, a mocking uh, ravine in the Sahara Desert should be called what? A what? A mocking ravine. A mocking ravine. Ravine. I don't know what it is. Sham Kasim, sorry. Sarcasm. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sarcasm. A mocking ravine. If I knew what that was, the joke would make more sense. I'm sorry. Sure. Ho I'm sure hopefully somebody will. I'm not much will. of a geologist. Oh, okay. okay, that's okay. Uh, next, Taran, it's your turn. What, to tell a joke? Yeah. Uh, I wasn't prepared for this at all. Why, Yang? This wasn't in your handover notes. <laughs> yeah, you have to. Okay. You should just, you know, tell some... What is the difference between sand and mud? Mud is wet. <laughs> sure. Ah, what is it? Where is the punchline? You don't have a punchline, do you? I don't know. Ah. My normal when I'm asked to make, <laughs> well, you gave me no notice. I, my way of dealing with jokes <laughs> is to do a setup and then hope I can think of a passable punchline, or just let the person think you, they got it right. You know what jokes is appropriate this time. A, a dry joke, which is... 
because it's dry in the desert thing. Oh, sorry, I have yes. to spell. Is that it? I think that's it. We should probably let everyone it. go. Don't let's just not um, not torture everyone else. Yeah, uh, Grats and all. Thanks to Shan. We'll be in a one day backup. Thank you so much, everybody, and see you next time. Bye.